Hey, this is Todd, Red River Tactical and Outdoors. Today we're going to take a little closer look at the Glock 48. Alright, so here we are. And what we got here, we got the Glock 48 and the Glock 19. Uh, the Glock, Glock 19 is just here for size comparison. As you can see, the Glock 48 has the same print lengthwise as the Glock 19. Uh, the only difference is the Glock 48 is a single stack. So we're going to move this Glock 19 out of the way. And we're going to talk about the Glock 48. Uh, when the Glock 48 came out, uh, my first impressions of it was, uh, why would you want this Glock gun? Uh, you got a Glock 19. It's got 17 rounds or 15 rounds plus one. And the Glock 48 is 10 plus one. So why would you even want it? Uh, a buddy of mine brought, bought one and brought it down to the range and I shot it and the first time I put it in my hands uh, I thought that's why you would want this gun because this gun feels perfect in the hand. Like I said it's a single stack so you can see that it's much narrower than the, the Glock 19. Uh, and it just feels, with that, it just feels really good in the hand. Uh, when I started shooting it, I, I know I tend to shoot to the left with this gun more so than I do the Glock 19. But that's just going to take some, you know, it just takes getting used to. As you can see, this gun's dirty. I've been shooting it quite a bit. This review's long overdue. I've probably got already a little over 2,000 rounds through this gun. So I've given a really good workout uh, before this review. Uh, what I did do to it, I did stipple the grip because the grip on this Glock 48 is even worse than the regular Glocks as far as traction goes. It's, it was real slippery, real slick. So I did, uh, I did stipple that grip on both sides. And stippled a place up here for my finger and thumb to go so my thumb can get traction on there. Uh, that helps a lot too when I'm shooting. It helps control my shooting left because this thumb is actually pushing in on the gun and down to control recoil. So that helps a lot there. I did replace the Glock trigger shoe with a Suarez trigger shoe. Didn't do anything else to the trigger. The only reason I did that is because I like the Suarez trigger. You can see this gun is empty. Uh, so the Glock, the Glock trigger, when you pull it, this trigger safety, don't go all the way in. So it kind of pinches your, pinches your trigger finger a little bit. And what I do like about the Suarez trigger, the Suarez trigger goes all the way in and goes flat with the trigger. And it does reduce the take up in the trigger, but everything else is the same as far as the brake and the reset. So everything else is the same, just replace the trigger shoe on it. Uh, I did put Hackathorn sights on the Glock 48, and those I just ordered those for the Glock 43, and they fit right on the Glock 48. Uh, you'll see in a previous video that I've done where I put the Glock 48 slide on the Glock 43, and it shoots fine. So if you've got a 43, there's no need to buy a 43X, just buy a 48. That way you'll have the 43, the 43X, and the 48 all in two guns. You'll be able to swap them out. Uh, one thing I do not like about the 48 steel is it didn't come with a rail to put a light on it. And I know that you're going to say, well, you could put a TLR6 on it. A TLR6 is not a quality weapon light if you ask me because it's it's 100 lumens it's not bright enough uh the tlr7 however that i've got on this glock 19 is a very nice weapon light and yes it's raining out here uh so we we'll do we deal with that uh other than that like i said well over 2,000 rounds through this gun no malfunctions whatsoever the gun functions flawless like any glock does uh, the coating on this gun seems to be fine. Uh, I don't like two-tone colors, so eventually I probably will get that Cerakoted black, but the coating's fine on it as far as the wear and everything. It's been in and out of the holster a lot. I'm carrying this gun a lot on a daily basis. Uh, so let's take it apart and see 
if there's anything different in there. Basically, this thing is just like a Glock uh, 43 frame. So, uh, it's a little wider than the 43, but all the internals and everything look to be about the same as the Glock 43. And you can see this thing's a little dirty, because like I said, I've been shooting it. Uh, this hole right here, I've heard people call that a port. It's not a port. That hole is there so you can get a front sight tool in there and change out the front sight is why it's there. And I've also seen that a company is making plugs for, for this. I don't know why you'd want to plug that. I mean, it, uh, the recoil spring sits in there fine. I mean, it don't cause an issue. So I don't see a need to put a plug in there. Uh, one thing while I got this thing apart, I will notice, you will notice, I'll show you. This barrel is not beefy at all. You can see that it's just almost like barely there. The locking lugs, I guess it's adequate. Like I said, 2,000, over 2,000 rounds to it. I hadn't had any issues. But I just noticed that, that the barely barrel is hardly there. But I guess it has to be to fit in that small of a, in that narrow of a package. But, uh, like I said, I, I love shooting this gun. It, it, it does have a little more recoil than the Glock 19. It's a little snappy for a 9mm, but nothing you can't control. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I love shooting it. it. It is not ambidextrous as far as the slide stop, slide release, whatever you want to call this. I use it as a slide release. It works fine. Uh, and it's easy to get to and, and use, but it's not ambidextrous on the other side uh, You can swap the mag release out for lefties if you wanted to do that uh, It does have a nice beaver tail that most Glocks don't have so it's it's coming out It's got a pretty good beaver tail right there your hand really locks in there really well And like I said, you just get the grip that you get on this gun is amazing uh, and the control of it. So even though it's a little more snappier, you got a lot more control in, uh, than you do with a, than a Glock 19 somewhat. Uh, let's see, anything else about it? I don't think, now I did get some extra mags. They're 10 round magazines. When I first got this gun, you couldn't find mags anywhere. So I pre-ordered three through Brownells. Uh, got those probably two or three weeks ago. Uh, and they're working fine. I've seen Terran Tactical and Hive has got some extended base plates for them. I'll probably get a couple of those. But as far as carrying it, I like the flush fit. And 11 rounds, that's fine. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. So that's about it. I don't know of anything else to say much about this. Uh, a lot of people do like to do undercuts on their trigger guard. And what I have noticed about this 48. I don't know that they undercut it any more than they do the re their other guns, but I noticed that that's not needed as much as on the, for example, the 19 and, and everything like that, because it, it just feels, like I said, it feels really good right out of the box and in the hand. So, yeah, this is a long overdue review on the 48 for me, uh, but I like it. I've been carrying it a lot and I think it's a really good gun. I'm glad Glock put it out. I uh, have noticed that I went to the NRA show uh, a week or so back. I have noticed that Smith & Wesson is putting a shield out now with a 4-inch barrel on it. Uh, it's going to be a performance center. And you can get it cut with a red dot. And the red dot even comes with the gun. So that'll be interesting. But uh, I see a lot of people coming uh, doing what Glock did. And actually, if you want to know the truth about it, Glock's not the first one to come out with a single stack four inch barrel. Uh, Springfield did in their XDS line. Uh, I don't like Springfields. I think they're junk, but I think they're the first ones to come out with a four inch barrel and a, and a single stack gun. But I'm glad Glock has, and I really like it. And I'm sure the shields, uh, when they come, is gonna be fine too. And also the Beretta APX I looked at, it's coming out in a four inch barrel, single stack. So it was a nice looking gun, but the trigger was horrible on it. So if you got any questions or comments, drop them, in, drop them below. 
Uh, if you've had any experience with the 48, like it, dislike it, uh, found problems with it, leave those in the comments also. And this is Todd, Red River Tactical and Outdoor, reminding you to be safe and always be ready.